For the first time in NBA 2K21 Next Gen, 2K gives you the option to create your own WNBA player. This is the first time you're able to do so in NBA 2K history, which is super cool. Only problem is you still can't actually add these players to an NBA team or play them in the NBA My Career. That's going to be the next step for 2K in upcoming years. But with the addition of being able to create WNBA players, highly suggested by you guys, I wanted to put Stephen Curry into the WNBA to see how good he would do. So here we have Stephanie Curry, and I have just copied every single stat from Stephen Curry's normal NBA player and just made him into a female character in the game. So we got all his attributes, all his tendencies, all his badges. I also got all of his signatures. And lastly, I got all of his hot zones as well. And I have actually decided to put Stephen Curry onto the New York Liberty because they're actually the worst team in the WNBA going 2-20 and last season. And I want to see if Stephanie Curry can actually turn their season around, their franchise around, and maybe help them win an, a WNBA championship. Now, starting off here, we're just using the normal rosters. So Steph Curry actually isn't the highest rated player in the game. It's actually... Elena Del Don. Uh, depending on how this goes, we might actually switch the rosters up so that the WNBA players' attributes kind of match up with how they would be compared to NBA players in real life. All right, so we hopped into my WNBA now, and let's just simulate through the season and see how good Steph Curry can do in the WNBA. Really short season, not nearly as long as an NBA season, but let's just simulate it. All right, we made it through the season. Brianna Stewart is gonna get MVP, so it's not gonna be Steph. That's a little disappointing, but he does get Rookie of the Year. <laughs> that actually looks nothing like Steph Curry. I tried to make it as I tried to make it look as much like Steph Curry as possible with longer hair, and it it just did not work out at all. But looking at his stats, 18.3 points per game, 5.4 rebounds, 5.3 assists. He shot 46% from three, but all in all, nothing too crazy for him there. He's actually not even going to be, he's actually not even the best player in the league. He does make the all WNBA first team. Um, not on the defensive team at all, though. I feel like in real life, he'd be on the defensive team. New York Liberty is going to get the sixth seed in the playoffs. And checking out the league leader, Steph is going to get fourth in the league for points per game. Rebounds, he was 32nd, which is a lot higher than he normally would be. Assists, he was 4th as well. And he was also 4th for 3-point percentage, so all in all, not dominant at all for Stephen Curry in the WNBA. Uh, so we'll actually switch up the rosters and make it a little more realistic. Let's just simulate the playoffs here, though, and find out what happens. So New York Liberty... How far did they even get? They ended up getting it to the third round, lost 3-0 to the Sparks, and then the Aces ended up winning. So let's make some changes to the actual WNBA roster. Actually see how good Steph can do. All right, we are back in my WNBA, and I have fixed up all the rosters, so they're a little more realistic. The top WNBA player is now a 71 overall. Stephen Curry is going to keep all of his attributes and everything like that but it's more realistic in terms of comparing WNBA to NBA players. So Stephen Curry now should be by far the best player in the league. Uh, I put down a lot of things like athleticism, uh, inside scoring, rebounding, uh, a lot of stuff like that. Uh, I kept their shooting, their IQ, their pass vision, all of that's gonna be the exact same because obviously that doesn't make a difference when facing off against NBA players. I simulated a few games just to see how good he would do in the first few games. Game number one, they win by so much. They win 99 to 53. Stephanie Curry gonna drop 39 points, 61 rebounds, and eight assists. A crazy stat line right there. It looks like he's actually gonna get a lot of rebounds during the season, which is kind of funny because normally Curry would not get too many. Second game, they win 122 to 55. Curry again dropping over 30 points, 31 points, 59 rebounds, and five assists. He's not scoring as many points as I thought he would, but I mean, I guess that's just the way this works. And then this game, 30 and 52. Getting over 30 points in the WNBA is very impressive. It does not happen very often. Let's simulate the rest of the season and see how he ends. And of course, Stephanie Curry gonna get MVP with 30 points per game, 
54 rebounds, and 5.9 assists. And in terms of how good 30.8 points per game, the most points per game in WNBA history was actually 21. There's only three players that ever averaged over 20 points per game. So the stats Steph is putting up here are insane. And for rebounds, WNBA players never average over 10. So 54 is just unbelievable. He also is going to get Rookie of the Year. Of course, this was his first year in the WNBA. And he also gets a Defensive Player of the Year. 1.1 steals, only 0.2 blocks. So really not that impressive defensively. And Coach of the Year is going to go to Walt Hopkins, who is the coach of the New York Liberty, because they went a perfect 36 at 0. So Steph Curry's picture is going to be messed up when we're looking at this, because I actually had to use another player and just replace all their attributes with Steph's. So that's why... The picture is not of the one we created earlier. Of course, the Liberty are going to get the first seed. And I, I want to check out these stats. I want to see how the rest of the league did. Stats and standing, season stats, league leaders. Okay. So for points per game, Stephen Curry was by far the best. Almost double the next best player. I was hoping he'd actually score a little bit more than that. Uh, but as you can see, nobody else getting over 20 points per game. Steph Curry just dominating. And then for rebounds, it was a little glitched out. So the, a few of the better rebounders actually did quite a bit better. I mean, you have Asia Wilson with 41 rebounds. Sylvia Fowles with 22, 20 here. Bunch in like the, the 10 to 20 range. And not until like the 15th player does it get back to normal. A little glitched out on the rebounds, but Steph still doing way better than anybody else. For assists, he was the best assister in the league. He had the third most steals, so not number one for steals. His blocks obviously aren't even close to being up there with only 0.2. He had the best field goal percentage, only player in the league shooting over 50%. And then finally, three-point percentage. He was the third best player. Two players actually shooting better than him, but he shot way more threes per game. He attempted 11.3 per game and i believe he should have broken every single wnba record here so i'll switch over to season so total points as you can see steph curry with the new record there 1100 points this season quite a bit higher than anybody else in wnba history field goals made he's up top three pointers made he's at the top free throws made he is going to be fifth all time rebounds he's going to be number one by far every rebound record is now every rebound record is now the 2021 ones now there's a little glitched out on the rebounds that usually happens when we do these WNBA simulations and that's it he's going to get up there for i want to see what his highs were for a single game so he's not able to beat the point record in a single game 49 points and 48 points so he's gonna get two top five points per games but the record is liz cambage with 53 field goals made he's gonna be second three pointers made he's actually fourth i thought if anything this would have been the record that he was able to beat rebounds he set every single record he's top five for this so breaking almost every WNBA record in his first season here. Uh, let's simulate the round, see who they're going to face off against in the conference finals, I, I guess that would be called. They're going to be facing off against Chicago something. I honestly don't know the name of the team. Uh, let's simulate the round, though. It should be a pretty easy victory, and it is. It's a 3-0 sweep in the NBA finals facing off against the Aces. Game number one goes to the Liberty. Game number two goes to the Liberty. And I believe it's a best of three here. And yeah, it is just a best of three. Liberty up by 22 in this final game. But we do get to see a little bit of gameplay from Steph Curry. If he's actually on the court. I don't even think he's in the game right now. I might have to sub him in. I don't know what he looks like. He looks completely different. Curry's actually not even the lead scorer this game. He has 18 points and 42 rebounds. Okay, so looks like he actually is in the game right now. I believe this is him right here covering Liz Cambridge it is number 30 that is Curry and he just gets scored on Curry from three wide open he's not gonna be missing that all right let's give the ball back to Curry here look how much faster he is than everybody else in the post right now not not something he normally does and he loses the ball are you kidding me Curry all right let, let, let me sub in here let, let's get the ball to Curry let's cook some of these players why not we got the nastiest dribble moves. Pull up from three. All right, Curry, let's see what we got here. So we're quite a bit faster than everybody else. So we can just get by everybody inside for the easy layup. They can't really stop that at all. No way that's good. Get the board. 
just pull up from three. That too easy. No, nobody's gonna be able to cover him on the three-point line in this league. And there it is, New York Liberty. From the worst team to the best team in the entire NBA, just by adding Stephen Curry. And he pretty much just dominated the league. I think he'd do even better in real life. Like, he honestly could probably average over 50 points per game. He just didn't score that much in this. I'm assuming he got MVP. Yes, he did. Uh, he's a 96 overall. I believe he went up one overall. 31.3 points per game, 47 rebounds, 3.3 assists, one steal. 42% from the three-point line in the finals right there. Very impressive by him. But I mean, that that's Stephen Curry in the WNBA. Breaks almost every single WNBA record. That's going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. This has been your boy, Super Cool, and I'll see you next time. Peace. I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money.